Over the past few weeks then, work has really been progressing over in Yorkshire at Flamingoland. Of course, all on their new roller coaster. The coaster has received a huge repaint, the trains for the rides have been spotted, and so many more other updates, which I'm going to cover in this video. So with all that said, let's take a look at all of the latest updates from Flamingoland on their new 10 inverting roller coaster. So then, starting off with the most obvious update, over the past few weeks, the ride supports and track have actually been painted. Previously, the ride had a yellow and red colour scheme, however, now has changed to a much more modern and iconic look with glossy black supports and a silver colour on the track. It's really nice to see a much more subtle and modern coaster at Flamingoland, rather than more colourful rides such as Kumali, Mumbo Jumbo and Velocity. It's a really subtle coaster that's really modern and fresh. Just coming away a little bit from the construction side of this development, um, Flamingoland actually posted on their social media page, teasing at the potential name of this ride. The park said, do you love it or does it make you sick? However, they spelt sick in a very weird way. Could this be hinting at a potential sponsorship for the ride? I know Lucy that Sick is a clothing brand, so it could be a potential sponsorship, or Flamingoland could be slowly revealing, revealing the letters that make up the name of this new coaster, or potentially the theme. Over the construction of this, enthusiasts have been calling it Inversion, however I personally believe that it's highly unlikely that this ride will actually be called Inversion. Right then, heading back to the construction of this new coaster, the trains have actually been spotted on the transfer track, with the shell that goes over the mechanics of the cars off, which I'm guessing is probably just getting a repaint ready to go with the rest of the car. These trains are looking really fresh and modern and really go with the colour scheme. Of course, this ride is essentially an upgraded version of Colossus with a lap bar restraint, so hopefully it's going to be a much more enjoyable experience and much more smoother. Unfortunately, at the moment, no theming around the ride, and the ride station is looking pretty unthemed. So hopefully the park do something with it. Of course, we do have to remember that's been a tough few years for Flamingoland. So to be honest, I'm not expecting a whole theme for this ride. If anything, it's going to be a bit like Icon, a bit more stylized rather than having a set theme. Talking of Icon, doesn't this entrance area here just remind you of Icon of Blackpool Pleasure Beach? It really gives us those Icon vibes with the black and grey colour scheme. We're going to get some cracking views when in the queue line. By the looks of things, it's going to be under the coaster and watching it fly past is honestly going to be amazing. Some really good interaction there and of course, going to be brilliant for getting some off-ride footage. Now the final update on this new coaster is the final turn, just before heading into the final inversion, just before heading into the station. Now a lake has actually been dug out, the lake's been dug out for a few years now, however I think it could be a really key and significant part to the ride. Could we potentially be seeing a water effect, a bit like the swarm going up as you sort of turn that final corner, or a big waterfall? I think it re could really add to the ride if Flamingoland purchase and invest into a good quality water effect. So there we go, there's all the new updates regarding Flamingoland's new roller coaster. Hopefully in the next few months we're going to be seeing the opening day released for this new roller coaster, of course on Flamingoland's official social media pages. Now if you don't know the history of this ride, it's never actually operated before. It's basically a ride that's got the plague. The coaster was manufactured in around 2011, it was then shipped to Hoppy Harre in Brazil and later to Movie Animation Park Studios in Malaysia, but never set up in either location. So Flamingo Land will be the first place where the ride has actually been set up and operating. Well, we hope so. Of course, I will be at Flamingo Land when this coaster opens, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any updates and of course when I do go there to hopefully ride this coaster in the next few months. So with all that said and done, we're nearly at 850 subscribers, so if you do want to support the channel, the biggest thing that you can do is hit that big red subscribe button. Of course, I'll be posting videos every single week for you to enjoy, so it sort of benefits us both. But with all that said and done, thank you for watching Theme Park Enthusiasts, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.